Good morning, SM Jackie Wood from Vista High School. It is my pleasure today to be here with Cheyenne Chow. Um, I've worked with Cheyenne for about three years now in our school's ASB program. And to me, Cheyenne's stood out in the ways that she hasn't. And by that I mean she is at every event, quietly, conscientiously working in the background. She doesn't need any glory or praise. She does it because it's the right thing to do. And then, outside of ASB, she's at every other event, character leaders, and our outdoors club, and best buddies. She's involved, but in a very modest and humble way. Um, she's a joy, she's a wonderful young lady. Um, I'd like to introduce Cheyenne Chow and her teacher, David Hanlon. Mr. Hanlon and Mrs. Wood. Um, he's the director of character leaders in my school and this is my vice president. <laughs> so I believe that the biggest contribution that I've been able to make in my school and community is boosting involvement. Whether it be through clubs, field hockey and track, or ASB, it makes me so glad to see people from what some might say are just different realms in my life congregate together to do something nice for our community. Just the other day, my ASB Public Relations Committee, along with the help of everyone in my class, finished making 164 holiday cards to give to the elderly across the street from our school. From simply hanging out with kids just like ourselves at Best Buddies Club, or beach, city clean up, beach and city cleanups with Environmental Club, or just hosting a canned food drive at my school, I believe that my involvement has helped in sparking other people to want to be involved as well. After all, it's like a chain reaction. Someone sparked me too. The biggest lesson I have learned in my years in high school is that sleep is vital. From my psychology textbooks to my intense encounters with coffee, I've come to realize that yes, sleep is important. My math teacher preaches that the first five minutes of your day is what makes or breaks it. With decent sleep, waking up is better. You're more prepared to start the day and daily encounters feel more exciting. You can't run your best race without sleep. And I mean that not only figuratively, but literally. Try running a 400 meter dash well after having been awake for 30 hours. <laughs> so everyone here today, I hope that tonight, as well as every following night, you get your seven or eight hours in in order to start feeling like, start every day feeling like the best that you can be. Um, as for my, as for college, I'm not sure where I want to go, but I do hope to go to a four-year university and study something related to the environment and trying to figure out what I can do to help with with our, with, um, sorry, um, <laughs> help with environmental awareness in not only our community, but as far as I can go. <laughs> so I'd like to finish this off by congratulating all of December's Rising Stars of the Month for being amazing leaders in our community and thanking our sponsors for showing their support and care for our city. Well, thank you, Cheyenne. Um, I think you can see pretty clearly uh, the humility that Ms. Wood talked about, and that's uh, something that I would like to talk about as well. But first, I would like to congratulate, again, as Cheyenne did, all the other rising stars of the month and thank the sponsors and Brett and, the, and Kent and the Chamber for hosting this again and for changing so quickly. I know that was a lot of work, so we appreciate all that you do for us, especially having to do that last minute. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, but again, I want to speak to uh, Cheyenne's character, and that's um, where I've had the joy and honor of working with her for the last three and a half years, and you know, for the rest of this year in the Character Leaders Program, and it's such a joy because she leads by example. Her character goes before her, and she's so humble, as you've seen, and as Miss Wood talked about, she's so humble. She does the right thing, not 